find the equation of the plane through the line of intersection of the planes r dot 2i minus 3j plus 4k minus 1 equals to 0 and r dot i minus j plus 4 is equal to 0. The plane which is passing through the line of intersection means it's a family of planes. So we can represent like pi 1 plus lambda of pi 2 is equal to 0 representing the family of planes passing through the point of intersection of the that is line of intersection of two planes. If this is one plane and there is one more plane. So through the line of intersection through the line of intersection we can say that there are infinitely many planes can be drawn so one of the plane is here so there are infinitely many planes can be drawn so which can be represented by pi 1 plus lambda pi 2 is equal to 0 so let us represent this in cartesian form by substituting r is equal to x i plus y j plus z k so we can write this 2x minus 3y plus 4z minus 1 equals to 0 in Cartesian form and the same way the second also by substituting r is equal to xi plus yj plus zk so you will get here x minus y plus 4 equals to 0 these are the two plane equations say 1 and this is 2 so let the equation of the plane let the equation of plane through the line of intersection through the line of intersection of given two planes 1 and 2 can be written as 2x minus 3y plus 4z minus 1 plus lambda times of x minus y plus 4 equals to 0 so which can also be written 2 plus lambda of x plus minus 3 minus lambda of y and plus 4 and there is only z term only one 4 z and then minus 1 plus 4 lambda which is equal to 0 so let us consider this as an equation 3 and this plane is perpendicular to another plane so the given plane the plane plane equation 3 is perpendicular to is perpendicular to r dot of 2i minus j plus k plus 8 equals to 0 so which can be written in Cartesian form as 2x minus y plus z plus 8 equals to 0 and so that now this third equation and fourth equation both the planes are perpendicular and hence their normals are also perpendicular so the normal for the first normal of plane equation 3 can be taken as 2 plus lambda the direction ratios of normal so 2 plus lambda minus 3 minus lambda and 4 and similarly the direction ratios of normal of the plane 4 the plane equation 4 are 2 comma minus 1 comma and 1 since these two planes are perpendicular of course the normals are also perpendicular and hence the dot product is 0 so 2 times of 2 plus lambda minus plus of minus 1 into minus 3 minus lambda plus 4 into 1 which is equal to 0 on simplifying you can write 4 plus 2 lambda 
and here we can write this is plus 3 plus lambda and plus 4 is equal to 0 and also we can write 2 lambda plus 1 lambda that is 3 lambda and here it is 11 so which implies that 11 is equal sorry lambda is equal to minus 11 by 3 so lambda is equal to minus 11 by 3 is a constant we got it so substituting this lambda value in equation 3 put lambda is equal to minus 11 by 3 in third equation so we'll get 2 minus 11 by 3 times of x minus 3 minus minus of minus that is plus 11 by 3 of y plus 4z plus of minus 1 minus 4 into 11 that is 44 by 3 which is equal to 0 that is 2 3 the 6 minus 11 that is minus 5 by 3 x and here it comes as 11 minus 9 that is 2 2 by 3 times of y plus 4 z and here it comes minus 47 upon 3 which is equal to 0 or this can also be written minus 5 x plus 2 y plus 4 3 z 12 z minus 47 is equal to 0 so this is the required equation this is the required equation of the plane and this can also be written in the vector form as r dot of minus 5i plus 2j <coughs> plus 12k minus 47 or is equal to 47 this is a vector form and this is a cartesian form and now we need to find whether the plane does obtained contains the line x minus 1 is equal to 2y minus 4 is equal to 3z minus 12. Since we know that direction ratios of the plane are perpendicular to the plane, so these are the direction ratios of plane are perpendicular, we'll consider to the normal, normal to the plane and if the line to exist in the plane for the line to exist in the plane the direction ratios of the normal the direction ratios of the line and direction ratios of the plane must be perpendicular because this is representing the normal to the plane the direction ratios will consider normal to the normal to the plane and direction ratios of the line which must be lying on the plane so their, their dot product must be zero so here let me write the equation of the line given line equation the line equation is x minus 1 is equal to 2 times of y minus 2 2y minus 4 that is 2 times of y minus 2 and 3z minus 12 that is 3 times of 3 times of z minus 4 or this can also be written x minus 1 upon 1 is equal to y minus 2 upon 1 by 2 is equal to z minus 4 upon 1 by 3 so the line direction ratios direction ratios of the line are 1 comma 1 by 2 comma 1 by 3 and direction ratios of the plane and direction ratios of the plane are minus 5 comma 2 comma 12 and now let us consider 1 into minus 5 plus 1 by 2 into 2 plus 1 by 3 into 12 which is equal to minus 5 plus 1 plus 4 and here minus 5 plus 5 which is 0 since the dot product is 0 so we can say that the direction ratios of the plane that is normal to the plane and the line both are perpendicular and now we let us see that this line is passing through the point
let us consider the point passes through the point here x minus 1 that is 1 comma y minus 2 2 and z minus 4 so here is a point 1 comma 2 comma 4 the line is passing through the point now let us check that this point is satisfying the plane equation or not let's verify the point 1 comma 2 comma 4 satisfies the plane equation so that is minus 5 times of 1 plus 2 times of 2 plus 12 times of 4 minus 47 is equal to 0 that is negative 5 and plus 4 12 fours are 48 minus 47 is equal to 0 so which implies here minus 5 minus 47 that is minus 52 and plus 48 plus 4 is 52 which is equal to 0 that is 0 is equal to 0 satisfies and hence we can say that the line the point of the line satisfying the plane equation also so and also the direction ratios of the plane is perpendicular to the direction ratios of the line and hence we can say the line given line is on the plane that's all